After several months for her, she awoke with a cybernetic heart in a hospital. Due to the spaceship's proximity to a black hole, causing time dilation within it, Bill was forced to wait a total of 10 years for the 12th doctor and in the meantime made friends with a man named Razor. Razor allowed her to watch the doctor and the others upstairs, though time passed extremely slowly. By the time the doctor raised an eyebrow, a week passed for Bill. Razor also took her outside the hospital once, explaining how everyone had to be converted to survive given the time differential with the upper levels. Bill, wanting to be with the doctor, began to repeatedly ask him to take her to the lifts. Eventually, Razor apparently caved in and seemingly took her to the lifts. However, he had actually taken her to the conversion theater, telling her that it was for her own good. She was then forcibly converted into the first Cyberman. Sometime later, the doctor, Nardal, and Missy arrived. In the theater, the doctor found her, and asked her if she knew where Bill was, and told him that she was Bill, telling him, I waited for you, as Missy, and Razor, really the master, took their places at her sides. Bill managed to reject the cyber programming enough to help save the doctor from another Cyberman, destroying it, and carry him to safety after the ship Nardal piloted crashed on floor 0507, a solar farm. While staying there, she still believed she was herself, unable to understand why the villagers were scared of her. When Alit gave her a mirror, Bill realized she was in cyber form, causing her distress. An injured doctor arrived and explained to her what a Cyberman was and how she was converted, speculating her mind now acted as a perception filter so she would still believe she was human. Bill, upon seeing her shadow, which confirmed she was a Cyberman, grew angry at the doctor for not saving her, accidentally blasting a hole in the barn that further startled the villagers as they prepared for war. The master soon arrived, informing the pair that his future self had found something of interest, momentarily teasing Bill about how he hated the 10 years he had to spend with her on floor 1056. Bill pretended that his cruelty did not upset her but was crying beneath her mask, something which surprised the doctor. While following the master, Bill asked why the Cybermen were planning to invade floor 0507, the doctor replying that it was due to their desire to take the children. Bill questioned why the children specifically, though the doctor withheld his reply, causing the master to finish for him there is less to throw away. As the doctor stumbled against the nearby tree, Bill began to lose hope, believing the scenario they found themselves in was inescapable the doctor even admitting he didn't know how he would get Bill back to normal. However, he briefly brightened Bill up by saying there was hope because she was still able to produce tears. They arrived in the middle of a forest to find Missy using her sonic umbrella on a camouflaged lift. She briefly empathized with Bill's condition before calling the lift. Understanding a Cyberman would be in it, Bill ordered the others aside to combat the threat directly, the three Time Lords preparing their respective sonic devices behind her. An advanced model of Cyberman came from the lift, but the four managed to disable it after several seconds. Bill later created a passageway for the children to escape in. When she went to inform Nardal of this, Hazon fired at her, believing her to be a Cyberman. This upset Bill and she went to talk to the doctor but before long the Cybermen arrived. The Doctor and Bill chose to remain and fight off the Cybermen despite Nardal's protests. He later bade farewell to Bill and the Doctor and was sent to defend the children. In the final battle, she was allowed to join the Doctor as he confronted the Cybermen. After the Doctor blew up floor 0507, Bill was left alone on a battlefield. Heather appeared from a puddle and Bill found herself back in her body, and saw her Cyberman shell fall to the ground, dead. After taking the doctor back to the TARDIS, Heather explained that she traced Bill through the tears she left, and also that Bill was now like her, a sentient oil creature, but she could be made human again if she wanted. Once she had left her tears with the doctor, Bill went to travel the universe with Heather. 